Well, it's our pleasure to welcome back Jenna Richardson to the Orange and Black Studios. Jenna, it's been a, a long journey from you from all the way from Japan back to Corvallis playing in the, the Women's World Cup, the FIFA U20. Um, first of all, what was it like being a part of an event like that? Uh, I mean, it's, it's an irreplaceable memory and an experience that I, ne I never really thought I would be able to experience at all. So being there was almost surreal and obviously scoring a goal and getting a big win over Argentina. It, it makes me strive to possibly get to the 2015 World Cup with the senior team. And, you know, as you mentioned, one of the highlights for you, uh, not only you, but your team, you scored a goal uh, in the match against Norway. What was that like? Uh, if you could kind of maybe explain the play a little bit and your reaction afterward, knowing what you had just done. Yeah, uh, I mean, it, it was a bit of a tough start for that game. I, I personally believe that I could have scored possibly two more goals. Uh, but so it was hard to come back from that. But I think I got a great ball over top and took it down and just went to net and felt very composed in front of the net, which is kind of bizarre because in those situations it's hard to feel composed. And I just slotted it away and it was the best feeling. And from there, you know, I just calmed, I think, a lot of people's energies. And although we didn't get the win, it, it, we all felt like we played a great game. Well, obviously, you know, the outcome uh, wasn't what you, you had hoped, uh, Team Canada, um, out after group play. But you did win a match and, as you said, uh, scored a goal. What, what was it like playing with the level of competition out there, uh, some of the best in the world? Yeah, the competition was was the highest level I've played. I even played at the previous U20 World Cup, and I think it, I only grew as a player, and I learned so much from my teammates, my coach. He, he was such a great coach, and I in games that I thought, you know, I thought I was pretty much at a standpoint still, and I thought that's pretty much as, as good as it was going to get. He showed me how to improve and to continuously strive for greatness when you know he'd always say you know that performance was good but it's got to be great and that's really stuck with me and I've mentioned it a couple times here with this team. Well that's great uh, obviously you can take back and that's what uh, Linus and the staff here was hoping is you could take some back of that experience. Um, on, on a side note how was it I mean I know you're very proud to, to put on the orange and black you know when, when you go out onto the pitch but what was it like putting on your country's colors and playing for sort of a greater cause it's it's gives you the shivers every time you walk out of that stadium and you're you're, you're listening to your anthem and you're holding your teammates hands and uh I, I i don't even it's it's a i'm at a loss for words every time someone asks me that it's it's a feeling i can't really describe you can only you can only get that feeling if you truly experience it i feel like and to know how it feels and how close we were to getting even into the group stage and possibly, you know, I wanted a gold medal. I wasn't going to stop at anything. And I feel like I can bring that back here to Oregon State because now that I'm back here, I want to get to that Elite Eight and I want to strive for a national championship. I'm not going to be satisfied with, you know, one nothing wins or ties. I want to I want to cream everyone. <laughs> I want to like, you know, just not cream everyone, but I want to I want to show everyone that Oregon State is, is a team to look out for. Well, we'll get to, uh, of course, the season at hand back here in Corvallis in just a minute. But lastly, touching on your experience in Japan um, off the field, what did you see that surprised you? What did you see? I mean, not everybody gets to go halfway around the world. Uh, I mean, we went to Italy. We went to Japan. And everywhere I went, I was surprised at actually how you know, clean, especially Japan, I wasn't expecting it to be as as clean and, you know, everyone pictures Tokyo and people bustling around and everyone's busy and has somewhere to be, but it was it was actually a gorgeous country and I would honestly go back just, just to see more of the sights and uh, we had a bit of Kobe beef in Kobe, which was delicious and having sushi in Japan is, you know, it's just... Uh, the, the experiences and the places I've been are just, you, I wouldn't be able to do that if it weren't for soccer. Well, about the game and being back here uh, in Corvallis, you really didn't seem to lose a beat. You came back uh, two goals in the last two matches. Uh, you're now in third in the team in points. Um, I mean, wh why is it that you feel so comfortable so quick? I, I truly feel like I have more experience as I did even if I had come in without that experience at the World Cup I just feel like I can be more of a leader than I was comfortable being last year and I I think that 
I understand how things can get mentally in your head and I understand that you know Oregon State is a good team and we have so much potential so I want to do whatever I can as a player to you know bring that potential out in everyone and including myself I I think uh, it's very important to bring what I learned there and, and bring it over here. How tough was it I mean I know you were involved and, and very excited about what you were doing in Japan how tough was it to you know not be in Corvallis once the season kicked off I mean were you keeping track of, of OSU on the internet how, how did that happen? Yeah, every game, especially the Portland game, I was following to a T. I, I wanted my team to do well, and I knew that they had just as much opportunity to do well with or without me. So I was so proud that they were able to pull off the wins that they did. And coming back to it, I just wanted to bring back even more than maybe they had. And I wanted to increase the level and show them that I deserve to be here too. And coming in late, you know, it might be hard for people to, to take in because I wasn't here for preseason. but. I still feel like I need to prove myself to everyone here, including the freshmen, and I want them to know that I deserve to be out on the pitch, and I, wanna, I want them to be proud of me, because I'm proud of them. And I'm sure they definitely will be. They probably already are. Um, one last thing before we let you go here. Um, is there any specific moment? I know there are probably lots. Is there anyone that really stand out in your mind, whether it's holding your hand with your teammates, listening to the anthem, whether it's scoring that goal, that you just will stick with you, and you'll remember for a lifetime? I, every time I, I stepped out on the field and I mean, like you said, holding my teammates' hands, just seeing, seeing them looking at me the way that I was looking at them, everyone believed in each other and it was just a feeling of, of almost like serenity on the field. You, we got scored on, but we never gave up and I, I've never really had that with a team, you know, it's hard to get down on yourself and our teammates never really got down on each other and it just felt like a family and I and because I had that feeling I want that feeling to to be here at Oregon State too so I just I'm trying my best to to bring everyone as close and as connected together